Hi YouTube family my name is Vicky and in today video we are going to learn CloudWatch rule or rather I would say how to configure the event bridge rule it's a new feature with the AWS so what we are going to do is we are going to create a rule and with that rule we are going to trigger one of the lambda function so for this demo we need couple of services like we need the IAM service second we need the EC2 service third one we need the lambda fourth one we need the CloudWatch rule and the fifth one we need the cloud trail so by end of the video what you are going to learn is you are going to learn how to trigger a lambda function with the help of the customized rule now you can create any rule in this video i'm going to tell you how you can create a rule and uh, what rule we are going to create let's suppose this is my aws account and in this aws account whenever a new machine is created or whenever the machine is going to change the state from running to pending or from stop to terminate whatever it is then it is going to run one of the lambda function now this lambda function could be anything it could be to run a simple query or it could be email notification something like that so all those things we are going to learn step by step now the first thing which i need to do is in this i need to go to the cloud watch or i need to go to the event bridge so let me go to the event bridge so here we have the service amazon event bridge here we have the rule now i will get the same screen if i go to cloud watch and in the cloud watch we have the option to configure the rule So here we have the events and here we have the rules. So it's exactly the same thing. So let me go to the event bridge and let me tell you how we can create it from there. Now here what we need to do is we need to go to the rule. Now here we need to click on the rule. Here we can give the name like for this demo YouTube or something. We can enter the description for youtube tutorial something like that here we need to go with the default option and we need to check this one rule with an event pattern let me click on next here i will again go with the default option so here in this screen i don't need to update anything what i need to do is i need to scroll down and i need to select use the pattern from and here i need to select the event source AWS service and then I need to select the service on which I want to configure it so let's suppose I want to configure it on the EC2 now here we have the event type so if you can see like state change volume notification instance state change notification we also have so if I'm going to select this one here it is asking me you want to go with any state or you want to go with a specific state so let me go with let, let's suppose when my instance is in the pending then it is going to trigger the lambda function or when my instance is in stop state then it is going to trigger the lambda function so i can create that one now here one more thing we have one more option that is the api call now what exactly this api call is here we have any operation or the specific operation now what we need to enter here so this information I will get it from where I will get it from the cloud trail so let me go to the cloud trail how I need to search in the cloud trail I need to go to the event history and in the event history I will get each and every information related to who logged into my account what services that person created from which ip that person logged in so all those information upper level information we will get it in the cloud trail and if we need to uh, look for the information which are inside the machine like the cpu memory utilization then all those information we will get it in the cloud watch here we have the source aws ec2 so here if we see we have couple of things like we have the event name correct so let me go here see event source here we have 
and here we have the specific operation that is the event type okay so let's suppose i want to go with something like event name and in the event name let me search for ec2 okay no this is not going to help event source here we have all those things related to the ec2 so if i'm going to select any operation so that means all those things okay so there is a long list which you can see and from where this event source is coming if you see event source ec2 amazon.com so it's ex exactly the same thing okay if i want to go for any of the specific operation i can go for that as well Let, let's suppose i want to go for um describe tags okay that is a event name describe tag let me copy this thing let me enter it here now if you see here we have the event name describe tab tags sorry so like this we can select any one as per our requirement okay so this is the way you can find it but for this what I am going to do is I will go with the state change we can also configure it for a specific instance if we want to but I don't want to do that now let me click on next here we have the option for the target now what exactly we need to trigger if this rule match then here in the target we can select anything I'm going to select the lambda function and here we need to select our function as well so in the lambda what we are going to do is we are going to create one function so let me go to the lambda here I'm going to create a function I'm just going to create a demo lambda function okay so here let me write for youtube demo here in the runtime i'm going to select python 3.8 all the other information are fine for me now my function is successfully created so what i'm going to do is i will go back to the rule let me refresh it and let me select my rule which i have just created youtube demo and after that what i need to do is i need to click on next i can add a tags here if i want to next and create rule now what exactly my rule is whenever my instance go so let me click on this let me show it to you whenever my instance state going to pending it is going to trigger this one and how we will get to know whether this function is triggered or not so if we go to the conf if we go to the not to the configuration to the monitoring here we have the logs so as of now if we look at the logs there are no logs correct so uh, let's go and create one ec2 machine youtube demo machine is the name and i will go with the default option proceed without a key pair and let me create this thing so here if we say instance state is the pending one so that means now it is going to trigger the lambda function so for that let me click on the fresh and see whether it is going to trigger the lambda function or not if we have configured everything correctly then it is going to trigger the lambda function here we have the log and if i am going to click on this log stream it will redirect me to the cloud watch page and in the cloud watch we will see the logs what exactly it has triggered 
now here if we see we have the start and end and if I go to the start here we have this information and let me see runtime yes my function is executed properly for sure okay now let me go back to this one and here if we want to check it from the rule event bridge rule how we can do that thing we can go to the rule we can go to the monitoring and in the monitoring we have the matrix and this matrix we can refresh and here it is going to show us the data like it has trigger one right now but it will take some time to update this information so this is how we can use the amazon event bridge along with lambda if we need to trigger something with the lambda so this is going to be very helpful we do have other options as well if i go to this edit let me click on next next see in the target how many options we have we do have the option for the sns as well sqs as well step function as well along with that we do have the option to run some commands with the help of the system manager so we have lot of options here like ec2 stop instance api call image builder n number of options we have so we can trigger it with anyone it's just that we need to create our rule correctly and after that we can guide our rule to trigger something and it will do that and if i go to the lambda here this is my lambda let me click on this one let me go to the youtube then here if you see event bridge and we will get this information from configuration as well in the configuration we have the trigger and if you see we have the same trigger configured here if i click on detail it is going to tell me okay, this is the one i hope you like this video if you like this video do subscribe my channel thank you